you go. These little things you get from cafes come in very handy here. And better day. It's like a cookery lesson. This may all look very, very strange, but basically, ever since we rescued Annie, we've had a fighting battle with the damage caused by years of neglect. Because of the neglect and the fact she'd had laminitis for years and never had her hooves trimmed, uh, she has now basically little bits of the bone, of her pedal bone, are actually breaking off fragments, which are creating infections. We continually have to maintain the health of her hooves. It's not like an infection that you can see and it basically bubbles away till it gets to such a stage where it breaks through. So then it causes pain because of the pressure on the hoof. Because of the heat, in the summer it always gets worse because heat creates infections. Probably in a couple of months time when it's cooler, Annie will not need any of this at all and she'll be perfectly okay throughout the winter. We've also got the hoist because basically if she has discomfort in her front feet, the last thing she wants to do is to lift up one front foot and put more pressure on the other one. So, any up. Good girl, good girl. We clean it all out with a toothbrush just to make sure that there's nothing in there. Very important that everything is kept clean. This is all now healing up very, very nicely and it's now starting to harden up, which is what we want to see. So when we put all this here. So basically all this will now go into where the infection was and obviously kill any bad bacteria that might be there. And also Betadine hardens everything up as well, which is what we actually want now. And as I said, we will continue to do this until we get healthy hoof growth underneath. As you can see, Annie's completely happy with this arrangement. Bearing in mind she's got used to this over the years that she's been here. And by doing this, we are giving her more time. Up again, darling. Come on, Liggy up. Good girl. We are guided by Dorothea, our vet. Sadly, we know that they're good girl. There will come a time when there's no more we can do to ensure that she has quality of life. Come on. You want that head collar off, don't you? You don't like it.